Hey, it's Blake's Nature Life, and we're gonna be talking about fruits and eating some. And my guest is my girlfriend Marjorie. Come join us. And she's Hi. gonna have. She's gonna, she told me that she's gonna try every fruit, even though she may not like it. All right, we're gonna start off with the horn melon. This one I grew off my vine. And the cool thing about horn melons, they can last as the fruit form for many months if you keep them in a cooler area. I, I picked this one off when it was around August. So you wanna do the cut, baby? You'll try it for us. So horn melons taste a slight sweetness of banana and a hint of a little bit of sour. And the seeds have a high source of protein. People make shakes out of them. And you can actually, when you have it cut in half, you can take the spoon, see how it, how it looks. How it looks. And it still looks really good for you. Like you see all the, the juiciness, the colors, vibrant after many months. So lay, lay it right here for a moment and I'll show them that the way I like to eat it is I'll get the spoon, I'll just scrape in there and you want to just squish it up because it has these little fibers that you can still eat. And you get into like a jello and this is really refreshing in the summer because it has lots of electrolytes. And there you go baby. Tell us what you think. I'm going first. You go first. Okay. Can I swallow the seed? Yeah, you can swallow or chew them. What you think? It tastes like a flavorless kiwi. Oh, hang on. Another one. Or like cucumber. Yeah, this one tastes more like a cucumber. It might be because we, I, you know, I've waited so long that it's lost the banana flavor. They usually have like a banana hint with a little bit sour. This tastes more like I a... I mean, it is a little tart. This one's a little Slightly. tart. But it just kind of tastes like a kiwi with no sweetness. Alright, so get you a horn melon. You can grow them yourself. I've had way better ones than this. I think it's from it sitting so long. Let's go to the next one. Okay. We'll set the extra fruits there. And then I picked a papaya off the papaya tree in the greenhouse and it tastes it tasted so good that I couldn't wait I smelled it and I said let me let my family try it before I come over here and we already took a, a little bite of it and we only have this little bit left it was about this big and this picture you're about to see right now and then I cut it and we're gonna cut it again and this one I grew for a few months. And I just can't believe how good it tastes. Here, baby. Alright. Let you get the big one. Oh, so sweet. I like to eat like a watermelon. Mmm. I'm telling you, I haven't had a good papaya in I can't tell you how long. There was another time when we were in Nicaragua. This papaya was large. I'll show you in the next picture. And it had so much flavor, but this one has its own hint of just sweetness and creamy. It's definitely the best papaya I've had living up here. Because around here, you don't get good papayas. They're usually picked too early. I waited till it was on the, on the plant for a while. You could tell it's ripe because of the skin. Mm -hmm. And the skin's it's not green. And the skin's really soft too, if you notice that. Yeah. It's not as orange as like the normal papaya. It's like a lighter orange, it, can you see? For the color, it tastes very, very good. Um, very appealing to your body. Yes. I'll save a little bit for John because he'd get a kick out of But this is my favorite. It's a red lady mixed with a tree we got down south from her parents' place. Let me grab some seeds. Mm -hmm. Let me put this up. We have something else exciting. That's not even in season right now. We have lychees. So my friend David, and they became friends with Marjorie as well. We got lychees from, they had a, a few bags. They gave us two bags. They have a, a few, they have like, I wanna say two to three large lychee trees. And look, mm -hmm. you can freeze them 
and they'll make them last and they taste the same when you thaw them out. Hey, good baby. Tell us what you, how, what you think about these. So David, just for reference, is on Blake's egg fruit video. Yes, he is the, so David, is I'm sorry, David's the guy in the egg fruit video that we did a tour down south. So he, this is from his lychee tree. Thankfully, um, he only he them. likes the lychee tree. His wife doesn't. His wife doesn't, so it's more for it to share. So he has bags of them. It's, it has a sharp sweetness and there's this aftertaste that's just so comforting, comforting to your body. And you have a bag of these, you can eat them up all at once. It's a little sour. That mom's a little sweet. We have two different varieties of them. But lychees, you must try them. Look for them in the markets in the summer. They start around July, August, I believe. Mm -mm. They're the first batch. They're um, when did they June start? to July or May to May to June. Remember we went in August one time and we got lychees, didn't we? Longest. That was longest, sorry. Longest, but we don't have them. I believe lychees, the first... Har they're the first harvest. You're right. And then, the long ones uh, are longer. Long ends, and then you have the rambutan. It's always. It's a longer, longer harvest. Ram rambutan seem to be always still uh, producing. You're right. Leachy's first. Long ends. So, what you think? Do you have a better one? I just ate one. They taste a little sour. Yeah. That one's sour. Well, you get some that's sour, you get some that's a mixture. Has everyone heard of the jackfruit? You know, the big old fruit, supposed to be the largest fruit in the world, like 100 pounds or more, or, or actually 100 pounds and less. So I actually froze these because I had so much of it. I had bought a big one. And it, it probably was about, I'd say, 20, 20 pounds and I saved the fruit from it. We bought the jackfruit from the market Yeah. and it kept a lot of its flavor. You want to trust them? Margie's not really big on them. Try for the, for the audience. Look at her. I probably shouldn't smell it either. Yeah, you don't want to uh... smell it. You never want to buy a little, little piece of it. There she goes. She bit the whole thing. It's like bubble. I think it tastes like, you know that juicy fruit gum? Bubble gum? And this one's a crunchy one. Honest likes these too. I wish I could film Honest right now. She tears them up. So a piece of jackfruit. <clears throat> and um, you see it? Check it close about the lead sheet. We can get it out. I can get it out. Yeah. There you go. Lychee. The beautiful fruit. And then here's the I have onyx under the table right now licking my fingers. Thank you, girl. <laughs> there's the horn melon. Such a beautiful color to it. And then we have tamarind. I'm sure everyone's heard of tamarind now. Mm -hmm. Comes from the tamarind tree. Now, I don't know if Marjorie's had one of these in a while. Have you? I think the last time I had one, it's probably 10 or 8, so it's been about almost 20 years ago. You didn't have one so, at the fruit splice part? No. No. Because they're, when it's not the right season, they're green, they're very firm. The shell isn't so easy to, to crack. Yeah, the shell as doesn't crack as good. Doing. Um, it's a lot more firm. And the fruit ripens on the tree and it dries out like candy. Yeah. And that's when they harvest it. So um, the ones at the fruit spice part, they were they were actually really sweet. These are kind of sour. Yeah, when they when when it's the season, like when we went the first time, I believe, um, the it was pretty. That they were all like the season. I think was almost ending because it was hard to find. Yeah, I'm not really sure about their season. I think this is different they anywhere they're at. Yeah, um, they were really dry. Yeah, they were really dry. Um, but your mom and them liked it. Your brother did. 
Her mom likes anything sour. She, her mom loves anything sour. Like the sour, the more sour, the better. Yeah, like the. Um, Here, here's one. You so what you do is you eat around the seed. So it has a really hard seed in it that you have to you have to clip it off with something sharp to make the seed germinate. What do you think? A lot of um, this is used a lot in a lot of Mexican candies. They add some chili flakes um, to make it a little spicy. They'll put it around mango flavored um, candies. Tamarind has a lot of great uh, health benefits also. Very del delicious for you. It's a cleansing. People make drinks out of it, don't they? Mm -hmm. I think our mama makes a drink. And look for the candy. It's good for you. I feel like this cleanses your liver and stuff, even just by eating it. It's really sour. Got a lot of minerals in it. Very sour. Do you like it? It's not bad. Very, very sour. <laughs> <laughs> I had one the other day. It was so sour that it was pucking my lips up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have this old... It sticks to your, to your tongue. It does. I, I got, we got to make that drink like your mama does. Yeah, but she adds chia seed to it and sugar. She does. Lots and lots of brown sugar. So you guys try that. Try to be healthier. So this is a uh, a little bit bright golden mango. But it looks like it might be still good. Let's try it out. We peel the skin off. And we'll let Marjorie. Oh yeah, this looks good still. I'm going to try to keep the seeds if I can't grow the plant. Let's see if you can't get it to make fruit right away, you might as well graft to it. So have your own root stocks. Almost there. We'll, we'll start doing more fruits. We'll, we'll try to get new fruits we've never tried. No, I'm gonna eat this one first. It had a bruise mark on it. Oh, mmm, that's good. That's actually really good for a mango weed. It's very good. It's actually really good. I'm not the one to describe how something tastes because I just think they all just taste so much flavor. I don't know how to pinpoint. It's just real sweet. What would you say, baby? I like the texture. It's um, it's solid. It's solid, not Sometimes, fibrous. Not fibrous. Yeah, there's not so much hair or grain Grainy to it. it. You know the real grainy mangoes. There, kind of you get them stuck in your teeth. Like the hair, you get it stuck to your teeth. They're, those are some of the, the best mangoes I've ever tasted and had, but it's hard when you feel like you have hair stuck in between, in between your teeth. Yeah. So this one actually was still good. I'm really happy. I wouldn't mind growing this just for fun. Now, a lot of times from seeing it takes many years or it may never mm -hmm. fruit. Or it may just have little, little itty bitty fruits. Or it might have large ones like her mom's trees has, but it, it's sour on one side and sweet on the other. That'd be a good video to do. Have your mama in it? Yeah. Cause she loves it the most sour and then I'll be eating the ones that's real ripe. Here, try this one. This one seems to have a little bit of fiber in it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm hitting the seed, I'm sorry. That was the seed. But even then, um, it does have some like texture fiber to it, hair. I call it hair cause that's what it feels like when it gets stuck um, but in between your teeth. It's not bad. For smooth, this will be a good smoothie. Definitely, it tastes a lot like if you guys ever had mango juice, this tastes Simmer a lot that. to it. It's not too sweet where it's like pungent. Um, it's a mild sweetness, creamy, it feel like, feels like. And definitely would be good for like a, your morning shake. Mm -hmm. I like doing this right here. Getting every this bit of it also, up. when it's green, will be good with some chili some sauce, chili. some chili flakes. Because we, um, we have some some, uh, some popsicles that have chili flakes on it with uh, the yes, mango in it. Yes, 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 yes. What do you call it? Uh, Mexican candy? Yeah, the Mexican candy. You got to look for it. It's um, a lot get it at of Walmart, Mexican right? candy, yeah. And the ethnic, oh. A lot of Mexican candy. That is mango. They add a, of the, the chili flakes to it. Yeah. And I think that's everything. 
So if you guys like this video, just let us know. We'll try to do this every once in a while. I'll have to go to the marker or when we go back down south will be the best time to do it because that's where all the fruits are, all the good fruits. All right, so out of all these fruits, what is your favorite? The lychee, jackfruit, and this mango right here was really good. And then fourth would probably be the horn melon. I, I love that when I'm really hot and I'm sweating. It makes me rejuvenates my body, rejuvenates. So you just grow some horn melons. But what about you, baby? Um, surprisingly, a fruit that I was very against trying, the horn melon, it's actually pretty good. I would you have don't to mind say it. it's my number one, followed by the mango. Okay. Then the papaya. The papaya might be second, actually, to the mango. Oh my god, I forgot about the papaya. I'm about yeah. to redo mine. You can't no. going. <laughs> but that has to be the, my three. Okay. Let me let me do mine ever because I might have to re reset mine real quick to make this thing interesting. Okay. All right. So mine would probably be papaya, the mango, lychee, and horn melon because I've ate so much horn melon that you know I still love it, but yeah. I'd rather eat it when I'm really hot. So that would be mine. Thanks everybody for watching. Let's watch Onyx eat a we eat a jackfruit. Bye, baby. Bye. Set. 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 My girl loves it. <laughs> Catch you later.